are there any patients it should not be used? For instance, the chronic kidney failure patient population. Uh, so the, the simple answer is no. We look, we've looked at it across the entire range you know, of kidney function, uh, for example, and we found that it, it, these tests work you know, very well in those patients. I will say, however, you know, some practicality needs to be deployed when we use di diagnostics. And in somebody on, with end-stage renal disease, the risk for heart disease is so astronom astronomically high. Those patients really ought to be receiving the full court press in terms of preventative um, uh, evaluation and management as possible. So, um, you know, putting aside that very special population, there's really no kidney function level that makes these tests inaccurate.